So today's uh, video is about an infographic, an automated chart. So uh, this appears like just a picture, but it is not. Uh, what I can do is if I change the percentage over here, it is linked with an Excel. And if I change the percentage over here, say I write 90%, it is going to change uh, the representation here as well. So for example, if I write 50%, it's going to show it this way. So today we are going to learn how to make this kind of uh, an infographic or an automated chart. So uh, the first thing that we have to do is, first of all, just remove this. Okay. So what we do is we insert a chart and we select a bar chart. Okay. We've got certain categories and uh, we've got the series. Now we just need two series. We do not need series three. So we're going to delete this. This we're going to write as the main series. And uh, this will be the baseline. Okay. Now, uh, so these, uh, the, the, uh, the, these horizontal uh, uh, bars that you see are going to form uh, the uh, uh, these rows. Okay, so we need uh, in total there are hundred individual uh, blocks, and there'll be ten in uh, ten rows and ten columns. Therefore, we need uh, we need at least ten uh, you know rows over here. So I'm going to enter in baseline. I'm going to enter ten. Okay, then I'm going to have category 5, let me just do the uh, editing in Excel. So now it is visible in a better fashion. So we have got 10 categories. Now, we don't need these numbers right now. Uh, okay, let's just put some random numbers just so that the other series is visible right now. These are some random numbers that I'm putting. Now, let us first uh, play around with this chart and make it look like uh, these blocks. So, what I'm going to do is so let's make a shape. We'll make two squares. One. I'm going to keep it as four by four. Control D, make a copy. I'll keep it as three by three, slightly smaller than the first one. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to select the larger square first, then the smaller square. And then I'm going to go to format and subtract. So got this. Now, uh, so the middle portion is hollow and the outer portion is solid. So now we need to fill something. I will, I'm going to fill uh, white here. So this is a white uh, fill and in the center is hollow. So remember that. Now I'll insert this kind of a block in the uh, baseline okay so what i'm going to do is i'll copy it go to your uh, just press anywhere on this orange uh, bar right click click on fill uh, sorry click on format data series click on this option of fill picture or text fill, click on clipboard. 
clipboard that means so i had copied this kind of shape so it has copied that shape inside this particular uh, bar so if i zoom in so this is how it looks now let's click on stack and scale with so uh, now it has divided it into 10 you know it has made 10 different blocks now let us make it a little more legible uh, next what we do is we increase the series overlap to 100 percent so basically earlier when the series overlap was zero percent uh, the two series were separated now as they merge the hollow portions in the baseline bar are filled with the color whereas the ones wherever we had filled uh, we, we had uh, white color it retains that white color in the uh, boundary so that's what it does so as you can see white color is retained in these portions whereas blue color is filled in the center in the places that were hollow so now this gives us a, a, a good representation of what i had over here uh, but the gap between these uh, bars and the columns was uh, very little so i'm going to change that as well uh, now if i go to format data series again there is an option here gap width i'm going to in decrease the gap width to zero i'm just going to make it slightly bigger so that it is slightly better so 10 percent now so you've got that uh, that kind of a picture the one that we had over here we don't need these names we don't need the chart title we don't need this either now uh, now we need to automate these uh, values here i had entered some uh, random values now let us give us uh, give ourselves a kind of uh, an input say uh, the percentage required okay so i say percentage required this is going to be uh, my input okay now i'm just going to use some numbers i'm going to use a formula for all these values and for that i need certain numbers which i'm just going to enter over here the values needed for the formula so i need 100 i need 90 80 and so on and so forth so i'm just going to track this uh, these values down to the last column so that i have all these numbers now i'm going to use a formula over here okay this value is going to be the percentage right so i'm just going to change the format to percentage whereas all these values are in the form of numbers so the formula that i'm going to use over here is is equal to this value whatever percentage you write sorry 10 minus 100 minus this percentage or you can write one sorry it will be one minus this percentage into 100 okay so uh, as you can see that the category 10 now as soon as i enter this formula i see that the first bar over here goes in the negative it goes to minus 90 that means category 10 over here is representing the top bar now uh, say this was the, uh, uh, this was 95 percent okay so 95 percent gives me a value of 5 and the remaining values it is auto filled because this is a table and as soon as you enter a formula it auto fills the remaining uh, formula in, in the particular column so I'm just going to remove all these values for now and just I'm going to explain how the formula works it is 10 minus so it is 1 minus 95 percent is 1 minus 0 0.05 0 0.05 into 100 becomes 5 10 minus 5 becomes uh, 5 so I, I needed for 95 percent I've converted it into 5 five blocks or a value of uh, 5 on the horizontal axis so 95 percent and for 95 percent all these have to be filled 100 percent right now uh, the formula that I'm going to use over here is going to be is equal to 20 minus 
1 minus this particular formula into 100 if since it is 95 percent so it is just it is going beyond uh, you know the the maximum value so we'll have to limit the minimum and the maximum right now for example if i enter say 80 percent it is the first value is going to become negative and this particular uh, value goes in the negative so we don't want that uh, for that we'll have to limit the minimum and the maximum let's do that quickly uh, format data series okay let me close this format access minimum let me write it as zero i want the maximum as 10 so this uh, the minimum and the maximum are fixed now okay so if, even if it is a negative value uh, it will not go towards the left now because i've fixed the minimum and the maximum now 95 percent so similarly the formula for this these for this one is going to be 30 minus so on and so forth the one that i had written earlier so rather than that i'm just going to automate it and write it as 100 minus 1 minus this value of 95 percent i click on f4 because this value is in a particular column is going to be fixed into 100 right so i get 95 here i just select i go down i cl uh, click on shift and down arrow i click on control d and it auto fits so the uh, the formula that we have used is uh, you the, these values of uh, are variable and this value is fixed in the formula and uh, depending on uh, the percentage that we enter over here it is going to find out of each of these values and accordingly fill this particular chart. So let's just fill in something else, say 80%, 70%, let's choose 55%, sorry. So, so even if you're getting negative values, it is not going beyond the minimum of zero. And even if you're getting, uh, you know, values beyond uh, 10 the chart does not go beyond 10 and uh, that's how we get it now all these uh, embellishments you can add later on and your chart gets automated